In this video, I'm going to show you how to make CVG bulk substrate, which is the substrate most people use when they are growing mushrooms in monotubs, like these king oyster mushrooms here. The basic recipe for CVG is 650 grams of cocoa, 2 litres or 2 quarts of vermiculite, 240 millilitres of gypsum and 4.25 litres of water. I'm going to show you two different methods for creating this mixture and at the end I will discuss which one I prefer to use. The first method is the bucket tech method and how I like to do this is I pour half of my gypsum and half of my vermiculite onto the bottom of the bucket. I place the cocoa brick on top of this layer and then I pour the rest of the gypsum and the vermiculite on top. And I try and mix it around so that it's evenly distributed. Once I'm happy with that, I add the 4.25 litres of boiling water from a pan. And you can see there, there's an even distribution of the vermiculite and gypsum amongst the cocoa as it expands. Seal the lid on the bucket. And then I like to wrap the bucket in insulation wrap to keep it at high temperatures for longer. But you don't necessarily have to do this. It's just something that I like to do. Leave that overnight to sterilize and then come back to it in the morning. So the next day I remove the thermal wrap and then I just do a quick temperature check. You can see here the temperature is still 27 degrees a day later. So I usually give it a, an hour or so to cool down at room temperature. And then you just add your grain spawn straight into the bucket. And then you can just do all your mixing in there and then pour it out into monotubs. Okay, so the second method is using the bag which the cocoa brick comes in. If your cocoa brick comes in a bag like this, it's likely that you can do the whole process just in the bag. So what I do is get a pan or something which can withstand high temperatures, put the bag inside the pan, then remove the brick, create your first layer using half of the gypsum, and half of the vermiculite. Put the brick back in the bag. Add the second half of gypsum. Add the second half of vermiculite. And then finally, you want to add the boiling water and make sure you have some heat resistant gloves on like I do here because I nearly burnt myself while carrying this jug of boiling water over the pan, so be careful. If 
finally, once you've added the water and the mixture begins expanding, what you want to do is roll down the top of the bag and then just peg it shut. Finally, put the lid on the pan and again, it's up to you, but I like to wrap it in insulation wrap to keep it at a higher temperature for longer. The next day, when the substrate has cooled down, you can just add your grain spawn directly into the bags, give it a mix round with some gloves on, and then pour the bags out into the monotubs. Of the two methods, I actually prefer the bucket tech method because it's just easier to mix all of the substrate and the grain spawn in together and get a good mixture because there's more space, whereas the bag is more likely to rip and it's just a little bit more difficult to get grain spawn right down to the bottom of the bag. Hopefully this video is helpful, straightforward, and I'll see you next time.